All right. Hello, everybody. As promised, I'm here to answer your questions that you have uh, sent me over the last, oh, geez, a um, couple weeks. I put this out at the end of October, and I was asking for, you know, questions and things that you might want to know. And uh, I gave it a couple weeks and for people to comment and uh, ask me the things that they might want to ask me. And now I am here. Uh answering those questions and you can see uh, I'm not in my car I'm where I do everything else in my life I, I got a fire going right next to me I got puppy cat wearing my cool goggles uh, this is where I stream my video games so if you if you have not uh, ever watched my twitch channel uh, this is this is where I stream from um, so yeah I got a steering wheel right here I got my microphone we're good to go um, I'm hoping, let me check real quick. I want to make sure that you're actually hearing the things I'm saying. Okay, good. I've had some problems with my microphone. And tonight, um, it is 1040 on a Thursday and uh, 1040 p.m. <laughs> on a Thursday. <clears throat> and I am not drinking an energy drink. I am drinking uh, a cocktail. This is um, absinthe and uh, ginger beer. And simple syrup. I forgot the other. I forgot the other ingredient. I didn't make it. I would remember it if I made it, but I didn't make it. My girlfriend made it for me. It's incredible. It is so good. This is like one of my favorite drinks, if not like my favorite. If it just needs a little bit of mint, if you if you had some like actual like crushed mint leaves and just dabbled them on top there, we'd be in business. We were already in business, but ooh, mint. Anyway. I have the video pulled up right here, and I have the comments. Um, I see that somebody actually snuck in right under the wire two hours ago. Um, it was the most recent question. We're going to go from the bottom up, though, because why not? Let's go oldest to newest. I am not going to read all of the questions, obviously, because who knows what people ask. I haven't looked at these yet, so this is fresh. We are all looking at these questions together. There's not a ton. Uh, there's probably like five <laughs> that I'll, I'll probably end up answering. But let's go. Let's do it. Um, that one just says, Zenny, my darling. That's not a question, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, uh, somebody asks if I have any uh, pet names or nicknames for them. Them. We know what them is. It's these. And yes, uh, it is Tiffany and Chelsea. Uh, that's that's their names. They're named after Tiffany Towers and Chelsea Charms, a couple of my like favorite, uh, you know, personalities. Uh, what is my breast size? So I don't have a cup size, really. Um, when you get to, you know, boobs like me, you end up with, uh, you just kind of go by, cc amount and i have 3550 cc's so um you know the way you measure an actual cup size is you you do your band measurement which is underneath and then you do your bust measurement and my bust measurement is currently at like 58 58 and a half uh inches and my band is like 40 42 um, and then for every inch of difference is a letter of the alphabet. Um, but that just doesn't really work out right. And I don't wear traditional bras anymore. Anyway, I just wear sports bras. So I am like a quadruple X, you know, sports bra, or even sometimes I wear double X sport. It depends on how stretchy they are. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm sports bra size. I don't really know. Um, because also because I have expanders and I have these ports right here on my side where they add more saline, thus making my boobs bigger. Um, a, a, an underwire bra kind of rubs right on the port and um, it's not comfortable. So I don't wear those. Uh, so sorry, I don't have a real answer. 3,550 cc's each. Uh, that's, that's my size. Uh, this person says they don't have any questions. Okay, <laughs> sure. Um, what else we got? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what upcoming surgeries do I have planned? Um, so 
Not much. I, I will continue to get my fills, which is when I travel down to my surgeon and uh, we add more saline to my boobs. Uh, so I will, I will continue to get my fills. I do those about every three months. But I do have lipo... 360, which is going to be liposuction kind of all throughout my body and a BBL, which is where they take the fat that they have harvested from the other parts of my body and then they put it into my ass and my hips. Um, I have that coming up in February. So um, that's my only actual scheduled surgery. Um, everything else, so just, just my fills. Um, my most recent surgery besides my um, fills Previously, I got my face done last uh, February, February 2013. Um, let's see. What are my likes and dislikes? Well, that's pretty um, big. <laughs> so I can't, I can't really answer that one. Um, I like food <laughs> and drinks and I dislike, I don't know, mean people. Um, what size bra do I wear? We just went over that. What made me decide? Okay. Blah, 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 sorry. Uh, what made me decide to do this and what kinds of drinks do I like? Um, so, <laughs> so, uh, what made me decide to do this? Uh, I'm not sure if you mean this, this question and answer thing or you two all together, or if you mean, my surgeries, that's a vague question. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you mean maybe my YouTube channel and these questions. Um, so I just feel like I, I finally have a YouTube channel where people are paying attention to me. They're watching my videos. They seem to be interested in what it is that I'm doing, what I have to say. So I like connecting with people. I like talking to people. I like um, having an audience that actually cares about what it is I'm talking about, even if something stupid like energy drinks or video games or whatever. Um, if somebody wants to listen, I'm more than happy to talk. So, um, yeah, I just figured if, you know, all of a sudden I had interest in my channel and people were watching it. So I, I was like, yeah, let's, let's have like a get to know me session because I don't think a lot of you follow me anywhere else. I think you found me here on YouTube and you don't see me on Twitch or Twitter or Instagram or any of those other places where I am uh, more often. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm on YouTube a lot now, but um, yeah, I just, so I wanted to let all the, my YouTube people and followers and stuff know who I am and uh, how I am. And when you sit there and you talk about energy drinks for five minutes a day, it's not really the best way to get to know somebody. So yeah, I wanted to, I wanted you to get to know me and who I am. Um, what kind of drinks do I like? I like citrus. Um, so a lot of times if I'm trying a new energy drink brand, I go for citrus first because if you mess up citrus, then I don't really have much faith in the other flavors that you do because, uh, citrus is easy and it's delicious. And if you can't make a good lemon lime energy drink, then I don't know if you can make any good energy drinks. So citrus is kind of kind of where I start. <sighs> okay, this is, you know, I'll answer this. Um, how do you perceive the ideal man? What would he be like to meet your taste? I'll, I'll answer it, but I can't really give you an answer. That's unfortunate. So um, this is something that very few people know. Oh, actually, I mean, I'm very vocal about it, but, but people don't realize it. I'm actually asexual and I'm also um, pansexual. So I'm, I'm not driven by sex or anything. Um, I'm, I don't do that very often. And also I just like people. So um, you don't really have to do anything. You know, it's not a certain type of guy or a certain type of girl or a certain type of anything. Uh, we just have to click, you know, and uh, I'm very I'm basic. I, I like simple things. I like food. I like drinks. I like video games. I like cartoons and I like music and, um, I, I like talking. I like just sitting and hanging out. And if we can just sit and like connect and have a very good conversation and we can sit and, uh, you know, we have drinks and we can sit there and just go on and on about whatever. Um, then we're doing pretty good. Um, 
that said, I mean, I do have things I'm attracted to, and I do enjoy, um, I guess it changes all the time, but I like people more on the feminine side. I like people who are a little bit more, you know, softer and, uh, but that's not to, I don't, I don't know. You know, I, I can't really, if, if we're going by like looks and stuff, I can't narrow it down. It, it could be anybody, honestly. It really could. Um, let's see. That one is in another language. That is not a question. Do I have any kids? I do not. I am 38 years old and I have zero kids. I have never had any kids. And, uh, yeah, I, I never, kids were never in the plan for me uh, from the very beginning. Um, I've only had one very serious relationship. It was actually a marriage that lasted 15. Well, the actual, the real marriage part lasted about eight years. And then, uh, but we stayed together for like 15, but no kids, we never had any kids, never wanted them. Um, I am currently, uh, I was single for, uh, for a few years there, a lot of years. I was single for like six years, but I'm not single anymore. I live at my girlfriend's house. Uh, I, I moved out of my old house and where I am now, this is my girlfriend's house and, uh, she is fucking amazing. Um, ideal man or woman is just somebody, somebody who can hang out with me. Somebody who can sit and chill and be on my level. And, uh, you know, I drink a lot. I eat a lot and I play video games and I'm fun. What can I say? It's part of not having kids. <laughs> I never grew up. <laughs> Ideal first date, a bar. Honestly, yeah, we got to go to a bar. I'm going to be way too nervous uh, and I'm going to need alcohol. Uh, if we want to have a good time on our first date, alcohol, it's, it's got to be, yeah, it's, it's got to be based around us drinking. <laughs> um, I am originally from the Midwest. Yes, I'm from Northern Illinois, uh, kind of the Chicago area. I've, I've, my entire life, I've lived within two hours of Chicago um, in Illinois. Uh, what gets me pissed or annoyed? I don't really know. Um, I would say just dick bags in the comment sections on social media. Um, people who feel the need to like, ex uh, I don't know. I don't, lots of things. Let's not, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I, I never get mad or annoyed because I do. I'm, I'm mad and annoyed often actually. But there's nothing in particular that I can think of where I'm like, oh, that's a trigger for me. Besides just somebody being a fucking asshole in a, a social media comments section or something. Um, why all the surgeries? Um, because I've just, I've, I've, I've wanted them. I have hated the body that I was given. Uh for decades and I finally said forget it I'm going to get the body that I want so um my life is now dedicated that every moment of every day is basically dedicated to me being able to afford the surgeries and procedures and things that I need and want to live in the body that I've always wanted um and that just so happens to be a very exaggerated body um but yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's just what I want. I've gone so long, uh, not liking the body I'm in. So we're changing that. This person says that they would like to see my car filming setup, And I feel bad about this because I really do feel bad. They think that I use like a suction to GoPro and stuff. Um, I don't, I'm sorry. When you watch my videos, I'm just holding my phone. Um, I drive, it's a straight line, I swear to you. Um, so what I do is I, when I start filming, I usually start filming in the turn lane that leaves my neighborhood and I turn left onto a road that just drives through a like forest preserve. And it's just a straight line. It's like a one lane road, straight line, not a lot of cars on it. And what I do I have a steering wheel right here, actually. I can demonstrate. So I usually, I, I rest my arm on the door of my car and my arm just sits there. It just rests. And then uh, I drive. And then, yeah, I, I do what I need to do. I drive with my knee. I 
I'm sorry. Even if I'm not, even if I'm not filming or being on the phone, I drive with my knee. I'm sorry. Uh, it's it's easy for me. It's comfortable and it's um it's a thing I do. So, um, but thank you. <laughs> and I feel bad for you know people worry about me. Trust me, it's um it's not a complicated drive that I take when I film these videos, also a lot of them are filmed in parking lots. A lot of my videos, not every video that I put out there is me driving. Most of them are me driving to the gym, uh, but other ones are in parking lots or whatever. So I'm not always moving. Um, looking for more questions. Sorry. Would you do a video in a swimsuit? Guess what? Actually, <laughs> I'm in a swimsuit right now. Um, the bikini top, but I am in a swimsuit right now. Um, so I'm kind of doing a video in a swimsuit. Um, let's see. Let's, let's see. Oh no. I just pushed a button. Okay. There we go. We're back. Uh, what do we got? <laughs> just fun Simpsons quotes. Always appreciated. Always appreciated. Uh, this one, this person thinks they're being very clever or they're asking a legitimate question. They say, is your testosterone extremely high? Actually, my testosterone is two. Um, yeah, most most people who are supposed to have testosterone in their body, uh, their testosterone is 200, like between 200 and 1,000. Mine is two. So no, my testosterone is not very high. Uh, thank you very much. However, I am transgender, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else we got? Where did I get my braided necklace, and how do I feel about my transition journey so far? Uh, these necklaces, literally, you can get them on Amazon for like a couple bucks. I can't live without them. I've always, 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 since the age of probably 12 or 13, maybe even younger, I always have a choker on. I've never not had a choker. Um, it's because I've always been very self-conscious about my neck and my chin and my jawline. I had work done. Um, you know, I had my jawline shaped and I had neck lipo and stuff. Still don't like it. Um, but yeah, by having a constant tight necklace around my neck, it helps give definition that I've always... That's how long I've been self-conscious about this area um, since I was 12 or 13 years old. So anyway, these are very cheap. They're just stretchy things. You can get them on Amazon for a couple dollars and you get like a 10 pack for like $10. Um, that's where they come from. How do I feel about my transition journey? I love it. It's the, it's the most important thing I've ever done in my entire life. And I will never do anything any more important than this. Um, it's been tough. It's been extremely expensive. I've spent $100,000 of my own money. Um, my insurance hasn't covered anything I've done. Um, that's why I have the GoFundMe for my, my BBL and my LiPo. is because I pay out of pocket for everything that I do. And I understand that my boobs are excessive. I should. <laughs> you know, insurance would have never covered these anyway. Um, but for some people lots of people, uh, like their face surgery and things like that and their body contouring, their, you know, uh, their lipo, their, uh, they can get electrolysis for their facial hair. They can get their voices changed. All these things, insurance will cover that for them. It will not for me. So I have paid, like I said, like over a hundred thousand dollars of my own money to, to get to where I am. And I'm still going, I'm about to pay 11,000 more, uh, for my BBL and stuff. So yeah, it's uh it's it's a it's a process, but it's the most important thing I've ever done. And uh we are here. We're at the final question. Twenty minutes in, we are at the final question. Uh let's see what they ask. I have I haven't read it yet. Uh at what age did I begin my transition? I started in January of twenty twenty, so right before COVID. Um a lot of people started during COVID, and I think it's because people were at home and they felt safe and they felt like they had privacy and I felt like they had a lot of time to themselves to think about these things. And I think that it actually did give people a lot of time to reevaluate. And, uh, 
transition, come out, do all these different things. Uh, I actually started right before then, though. I, I started my hormones in January of 2020. So how old was I then? I was 34. I was 34. I turned 35 uh, that year. So I was 34 and a half is when I started my transition. Um, what was the motivation to go so big? Um I don't know. Um, I just always envied people who made a life out of their bodies. Um, I've always wanted to make a living being myself. I've always wanted to, um, I don't know, you know, like I, I tried doing it in many different ways. I tried being a comedian. I tried being a, a musician. I tried being a writer. I tried being a YouTube video game person. I tried doing all these things because I always wanted to make a living uh, or at least have some sort of income uh, based off of me just being myself and talking about the things I care about and doing the things I care about. And uh, one day I was like, oh, I'm going to do all this and I'm going to share that with the internet and I'm going to put myself out there and... Um, do and be everything I've always wanted to do and be. And hopefully uh, people appreciate me for that. So I, I, that doesn't really answer your question as to why I got, you know, went so big up top. Um, you only live one. It, it sounds so dumb. Literally YOLO. I, I literally just said YOLO to you. Uh, you only live once. Um, and I realized that during COVID and stuff. And, uh, I think a lot of us did. It's just like nothing, nothing really matters. You know, all that stuff that you've been so worried about, all the things that have kept you, uh, from doing the things you want to do, uh, in the blink of an eye, the whole world can turn upside down. You can think that you have it all figured out. And then all of a sudden, crazy shit happens and we're not even allowed to leave our houses anymore. Everybody's getting sick and dying. And it's just like, it's not even, it's not even like YOLO. It is like some shit can happen tomorrow and like it can happen to everybody. <laughs> it's not even just you. It's not like the classic, like, Oh, you could slip in the shower tomorrow. Like, no, like some shit can happen tomorrow that affects every single person. Um, on earth. So it's just like, just do you, as long as you're not hurting somebody else, you gotta, obviously, yeah. Um, as long as it's just affecting yourself, go for it. Um, whether that be tattoos or piercings or, uh, deciding to major in college for something that your family thinks is useless, but you're really passionate about if it's coming out as gay or, uh, bisexual or trans or any of these things just fucking do it who cares <laughs> like nothing none of that shit matters just don't hurt somebody else and you're all gonna it's gonna go good so yeah that's uh that was a good last question i think that was it um so yeah 25 minutes we're, we're at 23 and a half minutes that was fun i like that um I, I would like to do that again. I don't know if I can do it monthly. I, I wanted to do it monthly, but I think people are going to just ask or ask the same questions all the time. So I might just do it periodically. Um, so we did it in October. I answered them in November. Maybe we'll do another in like January. Um, or maybe I'll have like a specific topic or something. And then that way people can try to focus their questions so that you can you can think of other things because i don't want to have like i don't mind answering questions about my boobs sorry i just took a big drink if you've watched my videos you know that i burp easily i take like one drink of an energy drink and i'm like oh god uh but yeah so i yeah i just uh i just don't want to get the same questions i don't mind answering them i just you know i can't i can't make a video of me always asking or answering what my bra size is or whatever, because I don't even have an answer for it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for everything. We just passed 7,000 subscribers. Uh, I I'm, I'm coming up on a million, uh, views. We're at like 800 or 900,000. Uh, it's, it's been really fucking cool. And I don't want to sit here and talk about 
energy drinks all the time. I will always make energy energy drink videos. That's for sure. Um, I'm never going to stop making energy drink videos, but I would like to. I I'd like to do more things like this. I'd like to. Uh, I was considering making uh, like a cocktail channel um, or not channel, but a playlist where somebody had a really good suggestion on one of my Twitch streams the other day where um, they said that I should pick a game that I'm very passionate about. And then I should try to think of a drink that pairs with that game's vibe, basically. So then I make a video of us making the drink, drinking the drink, talking about it, and then me playing the game while drinking the drink. And that is kind of like my number one priority right now. Uh, I want to make that happen really bad. So uh, actually on Saturday, we're going to go out and try to, we have a bar kind of right now. We have a lot of ingredients and mixers and bases and things like that, but we need glasses. We need a workspace. We need an actual bar. So we're trying to build one of those. Um, but yeah, once we do all that, I think that channel or that playlist is going to uh, be really fun. And then, uh, yeah, so if anybody else has ideas, throw them out there. I'll look at them and uh, we'll see. Um, one of these days, the day job is going bye-bye and uh, I'm doing this full time. So I right now it's kind of hard uh, implementing all these ideas that I have and I want to do. But once I don't have this stupid day job, uh, I will have time to do all this awesome shit that I want to do and uh, to share with everybody. So thank you so much <laughs> for watching and uh, making my channel relevant and um, making me realize that people care. So uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, I am going to... <sighs> I don't know. I might, I might play a racing game or two. I, I kind of feel like driving my car. So I will see you probably during the next Zenergy drink video, which will probably be tomorrow or the next day. I don't, I don't really know. It's Thursday. So maybe not until Monday. Who knows? It doesn't matter. I'll see you later. And thanks. Bye. I need to click this button right here. I can see if I can reach it. Okay. See you later.